Autobiographical and biographical songs. This is a list of songs concerning real people and events in the life of the songwriter. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Alphabetical order by song title. Topic: Hash D. Seven Things by Miley Cyrus about Nick Jonas. 1968 by the Incredible String Band. Mike Heron directly addresses Robin Williamson. 2000 Light Years Away by Green Day about the first time lead singer Billy Joe Armstrong kissed his girlfriend, now wife, Adrian Armstrong, formerly Adrian Nessa, and being apart for a while. And it stoned me by Van Morrison, about a day in his childhood fishing with a friend. Alive in Kicken by Kenny Loggins, about his road to stardom. A Quitter, by Rasputiner is Melora Krieger's suicide note. Autobiography, by Ashley Simpson. Ballad of John and Yoko, by The Beatles. Ballad in Plain D, by Bob Dylan, about Suze Rotolo and her sister. Ballad of Billy the Kid by Billy Joel. Ballad of Moon Dog Maine by Ricky Ringside, written by Deanna Summers. Black Hair by Nick Cave about his short relationship with P.J. Harvey. Brian by Brian Wilson. Brian's Back by The Beach Boys, written in response to Brian Wilson's 1976 return to the public eye. Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy, by Elton John, about John's songwriting partnership with Bernie Taupin. Chelsea Hotel No. 2, by Leonard Cohen, 1975, about Janis Joplin. Childhood, by Michael Jackson. Chopin. Wood, by Van Morrison written after his father died. The Circle Game. By Joni Mitchell, about Neil Young, in particular his song about growing up, Sugar Mountain. Cleanin' Out My Closet, by Eminem, about his childhood and his mother. Cleaning Windows, by Van Morrison, about his first job after finishing school in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Close My Eyes, by Mariah Carey, about her troubled childhood. Clown. By Mariah Carey about Eminem. Cosma by Joanna Newsom is about the death and importance of her best friend. Coal Miner's Daughter by Loretta Lynn about her childhood in Kentucky. Confessions of a Broken Heart, Daughter to Father by Lindsay Lohan about her father and his cruelty towards her mother. Conversations with My Thirteen-Year-Old Self by Pink Creek Alley by the Mamas and the Puppers describes how the band was formed. Descendants by the Descendants about the band. Topic <laughs> EI. Early 1970, by Ringo Starr about the Beatles. Errol, by Australian Crawl about Errol Flynn. Emily, by Joanna Newsom is about her sister Emily. Fall to Pieces, by Velvet Revolver about lead singer Scott Weiland's drug problem. Family Portrait, by Pink. Family Tradition, Hank Williams Jr. song. By Hank Williams Jr. Feelin' Better. By Hank Williams Jr. 1977 album. The New South. The Glen. By Bradley Joseph instrumentally describes his experience on a cross country trip. Gangsters. By The Specials, supposedly about the two tone band's former manager Bernie Rhodes, who also managed The Clash. Go Leave. By Kate McGarrigal about Loudon Wainwright III, Kate's first husband. Green Day. By Green Day about lead singer, Billy Joe Armstrong's first experience with marijuana. Green Eyes. By Nick Cave about his short relationship with PJ Harvey. Happy Birthday, Darling. By Gene Summers, song he wrote for his wife Dee during their first year of marriage. Howard Hughes by Rasputiner is about Howard Hughes. Harold of the Rocks, 
by Primus about how Les Claypool met original guitarist Todd Huth. Hey Jude by the Beatles written for John Lennon's son Julian after John's divorce. History Lesson Part 1 by Minutemen. Home by Alan Jackson contains direct references to Alan's early life. Home to Macomb by Bo Diddley Bo Diddley was born in the town of Macomb in southwest Mississippi. Homecoming by Kanye West childhood sweetheart named Windy as an extended metaphor for his origins in the Chicago. How Do You Sleep? by John Lennon John criticizes Paul McCartney's music since the Beatles' breakup. The only thing you done was yesterday. And since you've gone it's just another day. I Miss You by Randy Newman Randy speaks directly to his first wife. I Think That I Would Die by Hall about Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain's daughter custody removal. I'm just a singer in a rock and roll band. By the Moody Blues. I'm OK. By Christina Aguilera. Aguilera speaks out about her abusive father. Topic <laughs> JQ. Johnny was. By Bob Marley about the notorious Jamaican rude boy Trevor Wilson, who was the brother of Bob's former label mate Delroy Wilson. Journey to the End by Rancid about Operation Ivy which shared two members. Jules and Jim by The Who about the British journalist Julie Birchall and her relationship with Tony Parsons. Julia by The Beatles about John Lennon's mother. The Killer by Joe Harden Brown produced by Gene Summers song about Jerry Lee Lewis. The Last Time I Saw Richard by Joni Mitchell about Joni's first husband. Layla by Eric Clapton about his unrequited love for George Harrison's wife Patty Boyd. Letter to Titch by Dirty Goods written for his brother Crazy Titch about their shared life experiences. The Letter by the Incredible String Band about Mike, Rose and a fan. Like It or Not by Madonna. Liverpool 8 by Ringo Starr about his life with the Beatles. Live Like You Were Dying by Tim McGraw about his father. Look At Me by Jerry Halliwell. Love in an Elevator by Aerosmith about a sexual encounter Steven Tyler had with two women in an elevator. Lover Dearest by Mariana's Trench Band originated as a letter Josh Ramsey had to write in rehab. Made in America, by Richie Sambora about his early life and his struggles to become a professional musician. Me and a Gun, by Tori Amos about being raped at knife point in Los Angeles when she was 21. Mockingbird, by Eminem about his children and wife. Mother, by John Lennon about John's mother and father. Mr. Bad Guy, by Freddie Mercury realistically, a self-describing song. My Book, by The Beautiful South, about Paul Heaton's life up to the formation of the band. My World, by Avril Lavigne. Of Mice and Men, by Megadeth, about lead singer Dave Mustaine's life during his career. Old Lang Syne, by Dan Fogelberg, written about his encounter with an ex-girlfriend. Only a Miracle, by Kenny Loggins, written for his first son Crosby. Orange County Girl, by Gwen Stefani, about her life since the days before No Doubt. Outer Here, by KRS-One, about his rise to hip-hop fame. Nan, I Am London, by Wiley, written for his grandmother. Nutbush City Limits, by Tina Turner, portraits everyday life in her childhood home, Nutbush, Tennessee. No, it isn't. By Plus 44 about frontman Mark Hoppus' feelings regarding the breakup of Blink 182. No More No More by Aerosmith about life as a touring band. No Surprise by Aerosmith also about life as a touring band. Piano Man by Billy Joel. Q Fet to Law, Petula 
by Petula Clark spoofs the British public's reaction to her success in France. Topic RZ Rehab by Amy Winehouse is about her refusal to go to rehab. Remnants of Percy Bass by Rasputina is about the interior decorator. Rabbit Run by Eminem about Jimmy Smith's life, from the 8 Mile movie soundtrack Rite of Spring by Angels and Airwaves about Tom DeLonge's teenage years and the beginnings of Blink-182 The Real Thing by Kenny Loggins about his divorce from his first wife and describing it to his newborn daughter Rosanna by Toto about Rosanna Arquette dating Steve Porcaro at the time Rock and Roll Band by Boston about their early playing days Retard Girl by Hole about Courtney Love's bullying at school Revelation by D12 about the childhood of each member Sarah by Bob Dylan about his first wife Serve the Servants by Nirvana about Kurt's lifelong angst Shadow by Ashley Simpson She by Green Day about self-confidence and self-esteem problems faced by lead singer Billy Joe Armstrong's former girlfriend She has a girlfriend now by Real Big Fish about a girl who dumped songwriter Aaron Barrett for another girl Sliding Through Life on Charm by Marianne Faithful Slipping Through My Fingers by ABBA inspired by the daughter of band members Bjorn Ulvaeus and Agnetha Feltskog, who had recently started school at the time the song was recorded Salisbury Hill by Peter Gabriel inspired by his departure from Genesis Son of Evil by G. G. Allen Story of Bo Diddley aka My Story by Bo Diddley relates Bo Diddley's birth in Macomb, Mississippi and his move to Chicago, Illinois to find fame Sunset Strip by Courtney Love Sweet Children by Green Day about Green Day when before they changed their name to Green Day from Sweet Children TB Blues by Jimmy Rogers about his tuberculosis, cited in the book Faking It, the quest for authenticity in popular music as one of the first truly autobiographical songs. Teenage Whore by Hole about Courtney Love's stripper career before fame. Tenterfield Sadler by Peter Allen about his childhood in Australia and marriage to Liza Minnelli. That's what you get for being polite. By the Jacksons is a story of a man, Jack, whose quest for love and fear of being lonely causes him to do things he may not want to do. The song alludes to the experiences that Michael Jackson faced in his life. Three Little Birds by Bob Marley about and for his girlfriend, the former Miss World Cindy Breakspear. To Try for the Sun by Donovan about his early days on the road. 229 by Brave Saint Saturn deals with the death of Reese Roper's grandmother. Two Rivers by Petula Clark. Undergoing Treatment by Duran Duran about how the band has been chronically mistreated by the music press and establishment and how it has been coping with the downward slide in their overall popularity. Wake Me Up When September Ends by Green Day about the death of Billy Joe Armstrong's father. The album The Wall by Pink Floyd contains elements of the autobiography of lead songwriter Roger Waters. We Three by Patti Smith about her relationships with Jim Carroll and Robert Mapplethorpe at the same time in the 1970s. West Country Girl by Nick Cave about his short relationship with PJ Harvey. What's Your Favorite Color by Living Color. When We Was Fab by George Harrison about the Beatles. Where Do We Go But Nowhere by Nick Cave directed to Vivian Carnero, a Brazilian journalist and the mother of Cave's oldest son Luke. Who the fuck are Arctic Monkeys? By Arctic Monkeys. The Wild Man Fisher Story. By Wild Man Fisher. William's Blood. By Grace Jones about Jones' career and relationship with her family. With Arms Wide Open. By Creed about lead singer Scott Stapp's son, Jagger Stapp. Your Mother and I, by Loudon Wainwright 3, C. Go Leave. Topic: Alphabetical order by artist name. 
Topic ABABBAs Slipping Through My Fingers inspired by the daughter of band members Bjorn Ulvaeus and Agnetha Feltskog, who had recently started school at the time the song was recorded Aerosmith's Love in an Elevator about a sexual encounter Steven Tyler had with two women in an elevator Aerosmith's No More No More about life as a touring band Aerosmith's No Surprise also about life as a touring band. Christina Aguilera's I'm OK Aguilera speaks out about her abusive father Angels and Airwaves Rite of Spring about Tom DeLonge's teenage years and the beginnings of Blink-182 The Arctic Monkeys Who the fuck are Arctic Monkeys? The Beach Boys Brian is back. The Beatles Ballad of John and Yoko. The Beatles Julia about John Lennon's mother Boston's rock and roll band about their early playing days Brave St. Saturn's 229 deals with the death of Reese Roper's grandmother. Topic <laughs> CE Mariah Carey's Close My Eyes about her troubled childhood. Mariah Carey's Clown about Eminem. Nick Cave's Black Hair is about his short relationship with PJ Harvey. Nick Cave's Green Eyes is about his short relationship with PJ Harvey. Nick Cave's West Country Girl is about his short relationship with PJ Harvey. Nick Cave's Where Do We Go But Nowhere is directed to Vivian Carnero, a Brazilian journalist and the mother of Cave's oldest son Luke. Eric Clapton's Layla about his unrequited love for George Harrison's wife Patty Boyd. Petula Clark's Q Fet to Law, Petula spoofs the British public's reaction to her success in France. Petula Clark's Two Rivers. Leonard Cohen's Chelsea Hotel No. 2, 1975, about Janis Joplin. Self titled's I Could Write a Rhyme. About his musical career, Creed's With Arms Wide Open, about lead singer Scott Stapp's son, Jagger Stapp, Crosby, Stills and Nash's Sweet, Judy Blue Eyes, about Judy Collins, Crosby, Stills and Nash's 4 Plus 20, about Stephen Stills, D12's Revelation, about the childhood of each member, The Descendants. Descendants, about the band Bo Diddley's Home to Macomb. Bo Diddley was born in the town of Macomb in southwest Mississippi. Bo Diddley's Story of Bo Diddley, aka My Story, relates Bo Diddley's birth in Macomb, Mississippi and his move to Chicago, Illinois to find fame. Donovan's To Try for the Sun, about his early days on the road. Duran Duran's undergoing treatment about how the band has been chronically mistreated by the music press and establishment and how it has been coping with the downward slide in their overall popularity Bob Dylan's Ballad in Plain D about Suze Rotolo and her sister Bob Dylan's Sara about his first wife Eminem's Cleanin' Out My Closet about his childhood and his mother Eminem's Rabbit Run, about Jimmy Smith's life. From the Eight Mile movie soundtrack, Eminem's Mockingbird, about his children and wife. Topic <laughs> F.I. Marianne Faithfuls, Sliding Through Life on Charm. Peter Gabriel's Salisbury Hill. About his departure from Genesis, Green Days, 2000 Light Years Away, about the first time lead singer Billy Joe Armstrong kissed his girlfriend, now wife, Adrian Armstrong, formerly Adrian Nessa, and being apart for a while, G.G. Allen's Son of Evil, Green Days, Green Day, about lead singer Billy Joe Armstrong's first experience with marijuana, Green Days, She about self-confidence and self-esteem problems faced by lead singer, Billy Joe Armstrong's former girlfriend. Green Day's Sweet Children, about Green Day when before they changed their name to Green Day, from Sweet Children. 
Green Day's Wake Me Up When September Ends, about the death of Billy Joe Armstrong's father, Jerry Halliwell's Look at Me, George Harrison's When We Was Fab, about the Beatles, Holes, I Think That I Would Die, about Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain's daughter custody removal, Holes, Retard Girl, about Courtney Love's bullying at school, Holes, Teenage Whore, about Courtney Love's stripper career before fame. The Incredible String Bands, 1968, Mike Heron directly addresses Robin Williamson. The Incredible String Bands, The Letter, about Mike, Rose and a fan. Topic JL Alan Jackson's Home contains direct references to Alan's early life. Demi Lovato's For the Love of a Daughter Shouldn't Come Back. Lovato speaks out about her father. Demi Lovato's Skyscraper Warrior about her troubled childhood. Michael Jackson's Childhood. Billy Joel's Piano Man Elton John's Empty Garden Hey, Hey Johnny about John Lennon's murder Grace Jones's William's Blood about Joan's career and relationship with her family Roy Jones Jr. S. Gal must have forgot Bradley Joseph's The Glen instrumentally describes his experience on a cross-country trip KRS-One's Outer Here about his rise to hip-hop fame John Lennon's How Do You Sleep John criticizes Paul McCartney's music since the Beatles breakup The only thing you done was yesterday and since you've gone it's just another day John Lennon's Mother about John's mother and father Living Colors What's Your Favorite Color Lindsay Lohan's Confessions of a Broken Heart Daughter to Father about her father and his cruelty towards her mother Courtney Love's Sunset Strip Loretta Lynn's Coal Miner's Daughter Topic MN Madonna's Mother and Father Madonna's Like It or Not The Mamas and the Puppas Creaky Alley describes how the band was formed Kate McGarrigal's Go Leave about Loudon Wainwright 3 Kate's first husband Tim McGraw's Live Like You Were Dying about his father Megadeths of Mice and Men about lead singer Dave Mustaine's life during his career Freddie Mercury's Mr. Bad Guy realistically a self-describing song the Minutemen's History Lesson Part 1 Joni Mitchell's The Circle Game about Neil Young, in particular his song about growing up, Sugar Mountain Joni Mitchell's The Last Time I Saw Richard about Joni's first husband. The Moody Blues I'm Just a Singer in a Rock and Roll Band Van Morrison's And It Stoned Me about a day in his childhood fishing with a friend. Van Morrison's Choppin' Wood, written after his father died. Van Morrison's Cleaning Windows, about his first job after finishing school in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Randy Newman's I Miss You. Randy speaks directly to his first wife. Nirvana's Serve the Servants, about Kurt's lifelong angst. Topic <laughs> P.W. Pink's Conversations with my 13-year-old self. Pink's Family Portrait. Pink Floyd's album The Wall contains elements of the autobiography of Roger Waters. Plus 44's No It Isn't about frontman Mark Hoppus' feelings regarding the breakup of Blink-182. Primus's Harold of the Rocks about how Les Claypool met original guitarist Todd Huth. Rancid's Journey to the End, about Operation Ivy, which shared two members. Real Big Fish's She Has a Girlfriend Now, about a girl who dumped songwriter Aaron Barrett for another girl. Jimmy Rogers's T.B. Blues, 
about his tuberculosis, cited in the book Faking It, the quest for authenticity in popular music as one of the first truly autobiographical songs. Ashley Simpson's Autobiography Ashley Simpson's Shadow Patti Smith's We Three about her relationships with Jim Carroll and Robert Mapplethorpe at the same time in the 1970s Britney Spears's Peace of Me Ringo Starr's Early 1970 about the Beatles Ringo Starr's Liverpool 8 about the Beatles Gwen Stefani's Orange County Girl about her life since the days before No Doubt Jean Summers Ballad of Moon Dog Maine, written by Deanna Summers. Jean Summers, Happy Birthday, Darling, song he wrote for his wife Dee during their first year of marriage. Thursdays, Ian Curtis, about the lead singer of Joy Division before his suicide. Tina Turner's Nutbush City Limits portraits everyday life in her childhood home, Nutbush, Tennessee. Velvet Revolvers. Fall to Pieces, about lead singer Scott Weiland's drug problem. Loudon Wainwright III's Your Mother and I. C. Go Leave. Wild Man Fisher's The Wild Man Fisher Story. Brian Wilson's Brian.